Hi guys, I am back in London after a beautiful four full days in Paris. Best trip ever. The days are filled with excitement, activities. I've not even unpacked. A pile of clothes on top of my suitcase waiting for somebody to deal with it. I've just been resting because wow, each day in Paris we were doing at least minimum 18,000 to 23,000 steps. It was exhausting. So getting ready to go to Central. Tarek has been craving Somalian food and so that's what we're doing today. We're going to East London. I thought I'd do a get ready with me and just catch up on what I've been doing for the past few days. I've been doing a lot of nothing while watching movies. I binge watched too many movies, especially on Sky Cinema. I review a new movie every month. The past few days I've watched a few, but in particular I want to tell you guys about Dungeons and Dragons. From the title of the movie, Dungeons and Dragons, it sounds like it's this gruesome horror movie, but it's not. It's the most surprising movie I have watched this entire year. So the movie is about a thief called Edgen, who is played by none other than Chris Pine, who gathers a crew who have different abilities in order to rescue an old artifact. If you guys know Chris Pine, I was expecting two things. One is charm and humor. All of his movies are always like that. He's a very charming actor and best believe he did not disappoint. Surprisingly a really funny movie. It's really fast paced so there's nothing boring about it. They didn't overdo the CGI. It has great actions, very interesting characters. You are laughing throughout the movie. Properly hooked like I was hooked the entire movie and the movie is for two hours. There's so many different types of characters who bring something new and fresh to the movie. Really loved Chris Pine's acting and how he depicted his character comes across as he wants to be a frontline fighter but he actually really isn't but he is the leader of the group his decision making is very creative as well he also plays a very loving father which brings the emotion into the movie so everything that he does is to protect his child whenever I finish watching any movie I love going to Google and YouTube and searching up the movie and just reading more about it because there's always more to a movie you know things that we've missed while watching it and I came to find out that there's actually also a game that this movie is based off of for those who are to gaming you got the Dungeons and Dragons game but you don't need to be a fan of the Dungeons and Dragons game in order to like grasp this movie and understand the jokes. My favorite part of the movie was most definitely the beginning. Chris Pine is in prison and he is in front of a group of decision makers who are determining to either release him or continue his sentence in prison. So he has to present himself and say why he should be released. It's too funny. All in all this movie was an absolute blast full of warmth, emotion, and just great characters to just instantly like. You can now watch the movie on Sky Cinema. There's also the movie called A Man Called Otto which is out on 11th of August who is starring none other than Tom Hanks. If you're a Tom Hanks fan you gotta watch this movie. He plays this grumpy old man who lives alone because after the loss of his wife and then this new young family moves in next door to him and he meets his match called Marisol who is as quick-witted as he is and really challenges him to see life differently. It's a really heartwarming and funny story about loss and love and life and it shows that sometimes family can be found at the most unexpected places. Another movie that's out on Sky Cinema this month is called Maggie Moore. It's about a police chief who unravels a web of small town lives while investigating a bizarre murder of two women who both have the same name. While unraveling this mystery murder he meets this girl called Rita who is a neighbor who is so eager to solve the mystery and then this police chief just falls in love with her. It's a feel-good movie, light movie to watch on a movie night. Those are the three movies that are out this month on Sky Cinema. I will leave links on the description box below you guys should check out more and join sky cinema because there's just so much fun and so much to watch and it has something to offer for everybody hey guys we just got to the somali restaurant it's called brothers we're waiting for like Tarek's cousins and everything but they just gave us a bowl of soup what soup is this i don't even know lentil, lentil soup i'm not a fan of lentil soup but i'm gonna try it bismillah it's actually nice. <laughs> I've never had lentil soup, you know. So how would you not like it if you've never had tried it? I've ne I don't know, I just don't like lentil. Food is here. We have a whole thinny of rice and then we have like an array of beef, chicken, potatoes and a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just gonna dive in. Just look how good that is. No. They've given me a little bit of like everything no. so I can taste it. Why do you just put it on here? So we're in central London and we're crossing the bridge and the bus. Look how beautiful this view is. Oh, 
Sadik made me a bottle of cold ice cold water because the weather today is crazy it's so hot the sun is crazy and I decided out of all days that's what I'm gonna wear a buyer and a black one for that matter I was gonna wear black hijab and then I was like calm down Farhana calm down you're gonna die outside so I changed to this uh, taupe color hijab from sarabi this is the outfit for today very simple i love this abaya it's just black and then it has these tiny little stones on it we're going for a little uh, event a brand called Leem. i know it's an arab brand and then we're going to come back home and i have a whole bunch of stuff that have arrived from that week that i was away at paris i'll also show you guys that paris haul i bought a few stuff here and there in paris so i'll show you guys that too you guys this mascara i'm using it is the ysl black mascara it is so good i'm not wearing lashes today i'm trying to do that i'm trying to stop wearing lashes all the time so we me luck wish me good luck <laughs> today's day one it's my bag for today it's my coach bag and we gotta go we gotta go <laughs> nothing drains your energy more than the sun i'm so exhausted i uh, yeah i went to the event basically just tried on some new dresses and new items for their fall collection that's coming up then i went to this restaurant it's called tinsel town it's kind of like a, a fast food restaurant but you guys oh my god the milkshake the milkshakes are so good i always choose the for russia milkshake i'm gonna get comfortable on my couch and we're gonna do an unboxing this is a lot of pure to be quite to be quite frank so we're gonna get through these two at the back to begin with For those of you who are like new to my channel pr is basically these brands who send out their products to influencers and we get to try a whole bunch of stuff personally if i like something i will use it and i will share it but if i don't like something i don't share it i was just seeing you walking Assalamualaikum. This brand called Oribe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oil control treatment mist. I was asking you guys on Instagram and I'll ask you guys here too. Do you guys have any uh, recommendations for dandruff? The summer is making my hair super oily and super dandruffy. Ugh, no matter how much I wash it, whenever I come out of the shower, it's still dandruff. Can you guys recommend me some kind of a treatment? Any products that you guys use? Home remedies? Drop them in the comment section below, please, because your girl needs help with her scalp. Then we have there also Serene Scalp Shampoo. Uh, this is oil control shampoo as well. Well. And then we also have a dry shampoo powder. <laughs> Cute. This other brand called Tula Skincare. We have the filter primer. It's a blurring and moisturizing primer. One of my absolute favorites, the Rituals. They have. They came out with a summer advent calendar. It's so exciting opening each one. So it has number one, two, is it 13? You can either open one each day or you can be like me and open them all at one go. I'm gonna do this on Instagram stories. You guys want to know what's inside. You gotta go to my Instagram. But I'll give you guys a sneak peek. I'm gonna open number nine. And it's a mini. Oh, it smells so good. But just look how tiny and cute that is. I have this brand called Eviden. I've used their masks before and they're really good. Silky bath and shower cream. SPF 50 lip treatment. A mask. This is the mask that I tried. Seven minute moisture lift mask. And literally like lifts up your face and gives you like a whole bunch of moisture. Next we have Naturium a Salicylic Acid Body Wash. This brand called Femin. Though their fragrances are really good. Look at that packaging. Like... Okay, this uh, fragrance is called Peacock. I particularly really like this one. It's called the Cora. It's the same packaging like that. Oh, this one smells so freaking good. <sighs> brand called Blink Brow is basically a bunch of products for your brows. It helps promote brow growth, like if you have really fine, thin brows. And this is the brand, it's called Blink, Blink Brow. They also packed here a box of rose chai. Oh, this is one of my absolute favorite fragrance brand. It's called Mason Crevelli. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on TikTok, I rave about this brand so much. And now they've come out with a new one and it's called Oud Stallion. These guys know how to make a fragrance. I promise you, they never go wrong. Mmm. 
Mm. Ulla Hendrickson. They just, I think they remade their Dutopia. Their strengthening, strengthening peptide masks. Next we have Olaplex. Bond maintaining shampoo. Bond maintainers conditioner. Bond intense moisture mask. Bond building hairspray. They also gave me a lash serum. It's in the bathroom because I've been trying and testing it. Butter Beauty sent me a whole bunch of their new products. This is from the Lowish brand. So they have these three mini uh, eyeshadow palettes and their new jelly bombs. Lastly, we have a full skincare routine from this brand called Oliviana. Actually, sent me everything. We have an eye cream, a day serum, a vitamin C, a night serum, a sponge, marine mask, a detox mask, a night cream, a cleansing balm, and a sunscreen as well. So this is how the brand is. Okay, I'm done. And that's everything that I received this week. Today's Tuesday. So there's already a few stuff that have been arriving for this week. I'm gonna do another unboxing by the end of this week. I might do a giveaway as well. I wanted to show you guys uh, the stuff that I bought from Paris. I got this fanny pack from Uniqlo. You guys, if you guys are always out and about, you need this fanny pack. It fits so much. I know it looks like it's a tiny little fanny pack, but there's a lot of stuff that fits in there. H&M had some sort of sale going on and I found this cotton shirt which fits really really nicely and i love the color and then lastly i bought something for winter also from h and m it's this striped jumper and it's high neck as well really really good quality i also got this brown top from uniqlo as well oh it's the one i was wearing yesterday yeah yesterday i went to have the somalian food that's the one oh this perfume the Cora, the one from Famine, smells incredible. I'm so glad that I'm going for a facial tomorrow because just I'm gonna zoom into my skin for you guys. Can you guys see? Like you all are getting a 3D version of my forehead right now. Like from here, it looks like, wow, she has really good skin. And then when you zoom in, it's like all rough and bumpy on my forehead. I do think it's because of the heat. I'm going for a facial tomorrow. I'm very excited for that. At least my skin will get detoxed. Morning, guys. How are you? I hope you're all doing well. I'm actually going for another facial today, another hydro facial. I don't know, my skin's feeling dehydrated. My skin is feeling dryish. And we're doing, we're also gonna use the JLo Hydro Booster. it's a brand new day i just got ready and did the most i opened the window i did such a beautiful soft glam look today and this is my dress i've repeated this dress i wore it on aid listen on my channel we are repeating dresses because they are beautiful sustainable that way okay for breakfast with my home management like the girls and also the huda beauty team thank you okay guys we have a nice plate of pancakes and I just got to the Huda Beauty breakfast. How cute, like literally the entire table has ordered pancakes. And then we have the Odonat here who has ordered eggs. And then everybody else pancakes and then eggs. What is going on, girl? I'm always late for stuff. Why I'm like this, I don't know. But today I actually have a good excuse. I had a GP appointment this morning. So yeah, my appointment, I was late for that. I was like 10 minutes late for that. So they made me wait for like 30 minutes. Ugh. And then I had my appointment and then it was just long. Then I had to come back home, uh, quickly get ready. And now I'm off to brunch. Brunch and pedicures with a friend of mine. We're having a chicken burger. We have pancakes and eggs and halal bacon. such a good brunch and now I just got to nail spa saloon and we're getting pedicure. It's been a while so I'm happy to be here. Getting some self-care. 